Hello. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little bit how to customize uh, save searches within NetSuite. NetSuite enables you to pretty much pull any of the data in the system and be able to display that data. So let's say, for instance, uh, we were wanting to look at our customers and we wanted to cr create a, a collections list per se. So we can go under lists and we're going to go under our relationships here. So we'll go under relationships. And within relationships, we have our customers. So we'll just go ahead and click on our customer list and we can already see some safe searches that are already within the system. And of course you can come in here and you can toggle between the ones. Here's a custom marketing one that actually sorts it by lead source um, and that kind of thing. But we're gonna go ahead and I've already created one uh, called collections uh, to save time on this, on this video. But as we pull that up, I basically came in here and I put in the pertinent fields that are necessary necessary uh, for a nice collections list. So I've got the name, the account terms, price levels, if they're on hold, and what their unbilled um, overdue balance is, things like that. So we're going to tweak this a little bit. Notice here that I've got filters on here by sales rep, which is great. I can toggle between those. But we're going to go ahead and click on edit view. Now within the edit view, there's several things that we can do. Uh, first and probably the easiest thing to do is just come in here and at your fingertips you can add additional fields within the system so for instance if you wanted to add emails uh, you could come in here and type in email and we want to put the email on the list and I can move this up um, on the list as well so maybe I want to move it up so it's further up so I can see it um, on my list and now I've got email on the list the other things that we can do is that we can change out the filters. So as I said, uh, we got the sales rep there, but maybe we want to add state. So we want to be able to uh, toggle and toggle between different states. I could do a multi-select if I wanted to. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and select it and just put state on there. Some other things that we could do is that if we click on the more options box, um, this would give us some more functionality, uh, kind of allows us to really customize even further on our safe search. So one thing that we might want to do is that um, we might want to create a highlight and the highlight would say, I want to highlight all my overdue customers. So if I simply click on this little box here under the condition and then I can come in and decide what kind of filter I want. So we're going to basically say overdue balance, click on that. It's going to pull up a box and it's going to basically allow us to put the criteria in there. So we're going to say any overdue balance that's greater than basically zero. So if there's any balance that's overdue, we're going to hit set. And then we could add another criteria if we wanted to, but we'll go ahead and just use this one. Now it's overdue balance zero. We could change the text color if we wanted to, or we could put a highlight in here. So we're just going to basically highlight it in yellow. Um, I'm going to select a box to make it bold. I could put an image next to those as well. So you have images on here, like if you want to put an orange flag or a red flag um, or a blue flag, um, you could do that as well. So we'll go ahead and put a red flag next to it. So now I've got a red flag. It's going to be highlighted in yellow, and it is going to be in bold. <laughs> Now, some other things here, just real quick, you can select you know, who can see this list um, in the organization, what roles you want to assign it to. You can actually even have emails be sent as uh, the lists get changed um, in the system as well. Also notice up here <clears throat> in the top right hand is I can make this available on a dashboard. I can make this available for reminders. Some of you want reminders as people become past due uh, on your dashboard and those type of things. So, so not some nice features here that uh, enable you to do that. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and collect available on dashboard because I'm going to show you how you can add this list to your dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. Now as we get save, it's going to come in and actually show our various changes. So now I can come in and I can actually see um, my customer list with my collections on my dashboard. Notice here that the ones that are past due have red flags next to them, they're in bold. And uh, basically I can see the information highlighted in yellow. Now what's nice about these safe searches is you always have the ability to come in here and maybe email that customer or log a phone call. So maybe if you made a phone call real quick to this customer and you want to put it on their record, you just click on phone call on that record and say collections call, put in your notes and then hit complete and you're done. And then it actually will show that call on that particular record. So let me show you real quickly how you can add that to your dashboard. So on the dashboard, 
um, I can just simply come to my dashboard and up in the top right hand corner I can hit personalize. If I click on the personalize tab I can just come over and select and let's say I have um, a custom search. I just pull and drag that custom search down. Go ahead and click that off. And now I just need to set up that custom search and I just need to select uh, that particular dashboard. Now remember when we set up the 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 actual search we clicked on the box to make it available for dashboards and that's what will make it available and we can select you know how many we want on here so if you want a list of 20 on your dashboard go for it hit save and then you can see right here directly on my dashboard it's going to show my entire list um, that I made it even shows the highlights that I have on there um, it'll even show uh, the different searches that I have on there as well and I at any point in time can click on this little link right here to see my entire list so thank you for listening and I hope this helps you in creating your own custom searches uh, with a NetSuite